Here we go. Dare to play. is so good. Yeah, it's just an instant Pavlovian positive response. Yeah, it's just like a bomb for my soul. I missed it. Ah, thank you. Yes. Right. You're not that low. A little bit. Okay, yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Down by 0.375% please. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm Valkyrie. And I'm Katie. <laughs> and we've been playing these games for a while now. Katie's been playing them her whole life. And, Basically. Uh, she introduced me to them when we started dating. Mm. Um, we uh, had to date, uh, you know, virtually for... Um, because of the COVID. Because of the COVID for si about six months. And a lot of our dates were spent... Uh, playing Nancy Drew games. Yeah, and but we got to wonderful. go places together. We did, yeah. <laughs> exactly. We got to see all over the, you know, w wonderful exotic locations such as Philadelphia <laughs> and Kansas. <laughs> so, um,. Uh, we recently switched to a system where we know the last two games we're going to play, but for the time being, Valkyrie's just choosing them entirely based on the covers. <laughs> well, some of them have some very cool covers. No, they do, they do. And other ones, like the the, the one from the Phantom of Venice or whatever, is <laughs> really fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. Uh, That's actually a really fun game. <laughs> it's a I mean, he looks like the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he does, but you hardly see him at all, basically. Sort of. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's do this. Yay! This is one of the games I've hardly replayed at all. Amateur Sleuth. <laughs> Amateur Sleuth? Yeah, do you, why? Do you want to do... We've been doing Amateur Sleuth. Yeah, I know, but this one's just like so in your face about it the other ones are very low-key like hey like do you want to do this on hard mode and this one's like are you a little bitch are you gonna <laughs> play the fucking game they're, they're trying something new look at how shiny the nice little um magnifying hand glasses are those are nifty yeah. Ooh, and i like all that like yeah cool uh it's paisley or whatever it's pretty nice yeah yeah, so I, I genuinely don't um, remember who the uh, who the culprit is, but I'm gonna just in case I like unconsciously remember, I'm gonna keep doing the thing where I tell you everything you think is right. So <laughs> just in case, because I don't want to like influence, even though I don't, I le legitimately don't remember. Oh wow, this is a lot more cinem cinematic than most of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very spooky. Not his sweater, but everything. Else. <laughs> I was going to say it. So. <laughs> Walking the green mile. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. There's a straight up murder in this one. Colorado State Board of Transportation has released an alert this morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Nancy, you made it. Good. You couldn't tell me much earlier. What's the story? You'll find all the information in Nico's desk drawer. The combination is 171943. Got it. I'll need full access to the lab and a cover. For the cover, Say you're doing due diligence for a new investor. I'll back you up if anyone asks. But full access to the lab? No. <laughs> it's too dangerous. If I can't investigate everything, I might have a problem on my hands. All right. I'll have Ellie set up a demo. Wow, he's very easily <laughs> the equipment persuaded. Is extreme well, when you put it that way. I mean, he had to Got say it. that for liability case, reasons, how, but since but we I asked twice, it's fine. <laughs> Ryan. The police really thought she might be behind Nico's murder. They just couldn't prove it. She built the machine that killed him, and supposedly she'd threatened him. 
So she yeah. is definitely not the one who did it. <laughs> I'll be on my phone. So far, we know that she <laughs> and this guy did not Stay do safe. it. <laughs> How do you know that guy didn't do it? Help me do right by Nico. He was a brilliant scientist and a good man. Look at how sad he is. <laughs> a, a, a murderer wouldn't feel sad about the person that they murdered. <laughs> okay. Ace Detective Valkyrie's on the case. <laughs> Look, just because there aren't any open positions for Sherlock doesn't mean that there aren't some open positions for Watson. <laughs> um, wow. This kind of reminds me of... Uh, Siberia. Siberia, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the same sort of deco-ish weirdness. And that's interesting, that bare brick wall yeah, behind this like weird wrought iron or whatever sort of like simulating a window maybe kind of oh what's this jazz over here like some sort of sciency print mm -hmm. combined with 70s wood paneling and this like weird wallpaper there's a lot going on in this office <laughs> somebody had a lot of fun decorating this <laughs> office. i haven't even gotten to this weird like what a toddler would make try to make a <laughs> robot <out> of. <laughs> Is that a bird shape? It's a bird. Hi, bird. <gasps> oh, I love this bird. It's doing a burb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Katie laughs a lot, and it's wonderful. <laughs> and if you don't like it, you can just go fuck yourself. Aww, I so need to sweet. find a way to fix this. <laughs> This must be the drawer where Victor put the case file. In our journal, we should have... Uh, yeah, there we go. The case file in Nico's office has a summary of the information I need. I should check the picture. 171943. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. 171943. Hell yeah. Alright. Okay. So I guess this office is like HQ. Oh my god, why does it... <laughs> <laughs> what do I need to read? <laughs> I can do the reading. Okay. Okay. Victim, Nico Jovic, PhD, 61 years old, theoretical physicist, co-founder of Technology of Tomorrow Today facility. Body discovered in Tesla Coil Lab by Ellie York at 12-13 um, a.m. Body removed by coroner, cause of death confirmed as electrocution by a high voltage discharge of Tesla coil. Background, victim was widely acclaimed as a genius in his field. Known to have poor social skills, perceived as unfriendly or uncaring, even antagonistic by co-workers. Oh, it's very beloved, <laughs> no suspects at all. <laughs> and yet wore the ugliest ugly sweaters. <laughs> oh my god. Ugly sweaters, um, no, no boundaries, anyone can wear them. It's true, but those two mooses looked so happy on it. There's <laughs> 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 a lot of projection on the two 2D mooses. I, I don't think anyone who would like see that sweater and go, Oh, I think I'm going to buy this and take it home and put it on and work on my theoretical physics device. <laughs> I don't think anyone could like pick out an ugly sweater with two mooses touching noses and be a 100% evil human being. That's true. It doesn't say <laughs> evil. It says socially awkward. That's a different thing. Okay. That's, that's, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. <laughs> also, this is like the opinion of whoever wrote this file. So like human error. And that's that. true. Um, crime scene evidence. Victims expertise and decades of experience in wireless energy and the high-level safety features built into the Tesla coil's operating procedure indicate against the victim's death as a workplace accident. Victim's death is therefore regarded as suspicious. Personnel. Lab access restricted to employees only by a secure keycard entry. 
Uh, that's actually cool that they were like, okay, you have this, we're justifying that you're in this giant facility, but like only these people have the key card, and that's why you only see these five humans the whole game. Yeah, it's interesting because it like, from the very beginning, like even the fucking drawer in the desk has, is digitally secured. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested in seeing the rest of this facility. Maybe there's some like corporate espionage stuff going on. Mm. Uh, Mason Quinto, research assistant, day shift. Claims to have been on a date at time of death, but according to his date, they had parted ways by 10.30 p.m. Dislike of victim evident during quest. <laughs> well, he did not have to add that to this file. <laughs> when he did the small jig <laughs> upon hearing about the man's death, <laughs> we inferred. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Ellie York... Research assistant, night shift, on time at time of, on site at time of death, called 911 to report accident. Update, left town the following evening. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. That doesn't look right. great for you, Ellie York. No. <laughs> um, Ryan Kilpatrick, oh, I remember liking her. Um, technological engineer, day shift, stated that she was driving back to the lab from Colorado Springs at time of death, appeared distraught, evasive, and nervous during questioning. Built the machine that killed victim. I love gendered names that defy expectation. Me too. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. A lot of points. Ryan Kilpatrick. Uh, Gray Courtright. Wait, was his uh, name Patrick? What? No. Okay, she probably didn't do it then. <laughs> what? What is that? What? Her name's Kilpatrick. Oh. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> thank or you, thank you. punch me in the face and then continue. I will not do that. I'll just continue. Okay. But thanks for offering. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gray Courtright, the head of security night shift, on site at time of death, taciturn, recalcitrant, and, unfor- and unfriendly towards police. <laughs> okay, okay, point okay. in your favor. Yes, yeah, dude rules. <laughs> Refused to speak of his relationship with the victim. He's also smart. <laughs> Co-workers seem uncertain as to how he has continued to keep his position. Okay, I'm definitely Team Gray. Yeah, he seems cool. I also, okay, I can't wait to show, after we're done with this game, I can finally show you all the memes that involve, I'm pretty sure it's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that I haven't been able to show you because we haven't played this yet. Um, Victor Lossett, laboratory co-owner, office, office off-site. Oh, is that the guy we were talking to? Mm-hmm. Okay. Overseas business and financial decisions. Stated he was working alone in office at time of death. Notes. Suspected questioning, f- suspect questioning failed to provide an ironclad alibi for any employee. Keycard logs indicate another entry shortly before a victim's death, but security video um, string of characters... Uh, Obtained from head of security showed no one entering the lab from the time of the victim's entrance until his time of death. That's spooky. Hmm. Um, the key card used to enter the lab after the victim has been not recovered has not been recovered from the premises and does not match any key card in the logs. It is believed a power surge called on occurred on site as a result of test coils being run shortly before the victim's death, causing a glitch in the log system. I don't know what any of that means. Uh, I think it means that, like, they... Okay, so, like, the um, ID card that was used to buy the murderer to get in there, like, isn't supposed to exist, and also they don't have any video evidence of someone entering the lab after the victim went in. So, okay. like, so it might be someone who's good with, like, computers, or someone who... Someone has at the super high-tech lab is good with computers. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> Witness statements and crime scene evidence suggest suggested Ryan Kilpatrick as the prime suspect. She was arrested and brought to the police station for interrogation. After a lengthy questioning, Ryan Kilpatrick was released due to a lack of concrete evidence but remains a person of interest. I don't know. I, her goggles are cool. I don't think she did it. Yeah, but what's her position on cops? We'll have to I ask know her. Gray's position on cops. <laughs> <laughs> If Gray turns out to be the killer, I'm going on straight. (laughs) No one gets any pizzas from me. I'll have to get them from one of the other drivers that work at the restaurant that I do. Oh no. (laughs) 
I mean, that would be sad because you are their hottest driver, so <gasps> mm, everyone would be very sad about that. You. You. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> no further leads at this time. Case remains open, unsolved. Crime scene uh, decontaminated and lab's office and surrounding rooms respo- restored to pre-incident state. That's, that's not cool for us as the investigator. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was reset to exactly the way it was right before Nico's death. (laughs) Personal belongings of victim recovered as evidence, including files and experiment notes, shall remain in police possession for further investigation. Wait, so we don't have any of, like, his... Like, where he doodled in the margins, I think so-and-so is plotting to kill me. The police have that stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Um... Scientific equipment has been released back to the lab. A secured site reopened for scientific use. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the uh, parts where he was gently fused to uh, some of the scientific <laughs> gently equipment. Gently fused? <laughs> Did you know that if you die at work, um, it's an immediate OSHA investigation? I mean, I would hope so. I mean, just like regulations even if it's... are written in blood, and they are there for a reason. Respect your OSHA representative. Aww. Stay safe. Don't die for the boss, because the boss don't give a fuck. It was more like in a, even in cases where it was like obviously natural causes or something. Uh, I I mean, still. good. Yeah. yeah. No, that's the way it should be. Yeah, I just thought that was neat. Can we uh, click on those diplomas on the Oh my god, Ooh. there's Nikola Tesla looking Whoa. sassy as oh fuck goodness. over there. Wow, he looks very coy. Yeah, wow, that look, Gosh. that over the shoulder, like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, want to see me provide free, clean electricity to the entire neighborhood? <laughs> or maybe start an earthquake, because that actually happened. Wait, what? Yeah, Nikola Tesla created a fucking earthquake, and people still don't know how. What? Yeah, it's it's wild. Why didn't he tell anyone? I don't he think he was. <laughs> really? Technology to himself. I mean, I'm glad he did. Edison would have. <laughs> I mean, Edison would have been. Uh, I don't know. Somehow using capitalism to make earthquakes even worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, selling earthquakes to the military. It looks like it's missing the opening mechanism. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's all the candies! Oh, Licky Loose! <laughs> I was obsessed with Licky Loose. Oh my god. From in, the, 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 the Trail of the Twister. In Trail of the Twister, she brought so many Licky Loose. I bought so, they're so cheap. She wanted one of every flavor. <laughs> I wanted a hundred of every flavor. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Let me turn it up. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, Auntie's acorn? That sounds vaguely dirty. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Oh, Utter Pops, my favorite. Oh, Utter Pops, they are utterly delicious. (laughs) And what's that one? Cow. Is that cow? Uh, Cow a bubble. Cow a bubble. Oh, the. Chewing gum. The the bubble has cat. That's disgusting. I don't know what to think about that. Or delicious. It could be delicious. I want some. It it could be. (laughs) It could also be disgusting. Obviously, our first priority is finding the way to open this candy cabinet. (laughs) Oh, I really like the design. Yeah. It's pretty. Yeah. um, A lot of Art Nouveau influence. Can we click on any of the diplomas at all? No. Ah. Um, This kind of looks... Okay, I'm guessing the burbs mm-hmm. mechanisms and stuff could extend down into this bulbous cabinet thing. That'd be cool. Oh, what's that? On the Is that a scarab? Yeah, that's what my first thought was. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I love oh. oh This really does look like that the, the lawyer's office in Siberia. Yeah, it really does. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh, it's really gorgeous. Oh, it's also locked. I love how Nancy tests everything by just shaking it. <laughs> <by her body. laughs> how else are you gonna know if it's locked? <laughs> I mean, pulling on it until I—it's I, I, probably pretty evident. Oh fuck! 
my thing hasn't been plugged in this whole time. Oh no. Oh, no. oh my god. Oh no, wait, no, it was, it is, it is. Oh my it god. It is? Oh, yeah, okay. sorry, I was on the wrong thing. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm silly, sorry. Wait, let me just double check it is plugged in. Okay, yes. Okay. You know, we're trying to be professional here. <laughs> And you are undermining our very first video with your <laughs> Nobody said the goal was professionalism. <laughs> Nobody told me that. <laughs> Let's test it again. Hmm. Somebody Wait, what's... has a crush on somebody. Test <laughs> <laughs> you mean the uh, the person who got... Um, Check the other side. Who got... Uh, uh, Wait, what? The other, the other side of the bookshelf. I don't know if you clicked over it. I, I didn't. I wanted to look at that saucy picture of Tess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's that? What that? I have no idea what that is. Okay. Mouse over all the books just in case one of them is, like, readable. I love whatever this is. Yeah, I really love that. It looks like a bookend. I want a steampunk bookend. I love how this one book just... Is kind of fucked up in the in the corner. It's nice. It gives it texture. It does. I like it. These this, these are very nicely laid out books. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. So we need to solve a murder and get inside the candy cabinet, not in that order. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find a way to fix this. Right. 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 Okay. Okay. Once again, navigation in this. Game. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I don't think the volume's coming through on my thingies for some reason. It's not? Yeah. I don't know why. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's up. Oh, wait. Wait. Hold on. Okay, I just heard something. Like... No. Okay, I'm maybe... Oh yes, okay, there it is. Okay. This, okay, thank you. Yeah, this sure. is just a little, a little wonky. I'm half expecting this first video to just not work. <laughs> Nobody's first video works. That's fine. <laughs> God, the art is really good. Look at the details. And the yet, the there's like the most detector. generic fucking office fluorescent lighting. <laughs> Illuminating this gorgeous, weird, eclectic yeah, office. Yeah, maybe there was like a regulation against disrupting any of the ceiling and he couldn't decorate it. <laughs> Did one of the devs like cover for them and just like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, there's even a little motion sensor, light activator motion oh, sensor. Oh, that's what in that there. was. I was thinking it was like a carbon monoxide detector thingy. But that makes more sense. <gasps> Ooh, pretty. Wow. Oh, this is great. It's like we're in a submarine. Yeah. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, no. Immediately heading for the door with the big yellow warning signs. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, but active navigating these games eludes me. This is what I wanted to look at. Oh, that's really, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. It's an abstract representation of the guy right before he Oh died. no! <laughs> Oh, look at all the shadow. Yeah, I know. It's Isn't so it great? Pretty. This, this stairwell thingy is wonderful. No. Yeah, I probably don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's where we just came from. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll that get it. Sense. We'll get it. Ooh. Yeah, you're so funny how you explore things. I'm always like taking things one level at a time. Well, now I'm taking another Ooh. level on it. <laughs> <laughs> we got a murder to solve, Katie. <laughs> I don't know. What if the murder is in the basement, Valkyrie? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to get there by just twiddling our thumb. We'll get there by using the elevator. Okay, 15 Ooh. things you never knew about electricity. Ooh. Binary buster versus... The first electric lighthouse was in the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> uh, uh, weirdly enough, Binary Buster uses gender neutral pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> the largest electrical blackout to date cut power to over 60 million people in India. Oh no, oh my god. Oof. 
Uh, you can light up a burnt out fluorescent bulb in your hand using a Tesla coil. Does any of this have to do with the case? Wait, I didn't know the Statue of Liberty was a lighthouse. I thought it just lit up because it yeah. looks cool. Yeah, I didn't know that either. That's huh. pretty neat. So does that mean there was a lighthouse keeper in there? Huh. Wait, wait, where is the, is the light in the torch that she's holding? I think so, right? I don't. I I fucking lived in New York, and I don't know I, shit I, about this I've topic. Never been to this. <laughs> uh, to do electric eels can produce a six hundred fifty volt shock. Lightning can carry up to one billion volts. Holy uh, crap. The phenomenon called Saint Elmo's fire is actually luminous plasma around a grounded object in an electrical field. Wait, I don't get what that means. Luminous plasma. Oh. Voltage doesn't kill people, current the, kills people. Uh, okay, so in this case, luminous, I'm just guessing, is like light. Like it, right. it lights up. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, that makes that makes sense. Around the uh, grounded object. Huh. Wow. Currents as low as 60 uh, milliamperes can be lethal. I don't know how to. What, what, it, what is that? Milliamp amperes? Thank you. I, I, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> we gave it our best shot. <laughs> the lightning rod was invented by Benjamin Franklin. As was lightning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an uh, old white dude invented lightning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> In uh, the 18th century. Uh, fireflies are 90% more efficient at producing light than incandescent light bulbs. <laughs> Silver is the best metal for conducting electricity, followed by copper, then what? gold. That's interesting. Had, well, wow. That's neat. How about that? Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? I bet is what re is re relevant to the case is these things indicating the numbers. Like, this must be some sort of code, this red and blue circle. It's binary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So that must we must need to know that later, how to mm -hmm. decipher these numbers. Um, Humphrey Davy in invented... An electrical light bulb in 1802, more than 70 years before the Edison bulb. Huh. The first electric car was built in 1828. I didn't know that. Gosh, that's neat. Uh, static electricity was first described in the 6th century BCE by Thales of uh, Miletus. Miletus? Uh, got an adapter. There are 12 different standard outlet plugs around the world. Nikola Tesla created the longest ever man-made lightning bolt at a record uh, 130 Holy feet. Holy fuck. Wow. That's too many feet. Uh, do you want to do the ways to be energy efficient? Uh, no, fuck that. We're here to, <laughs> we're here to solve a murder, what not to save the is? environment. Oh my god. <sighs> what is good this jazz? Yes. Love it. God, I kind of want that as a tattoo. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That would be excellent. Okay, is that a patch? Because it looks just like the hole in... <laughs> like... Oh no, it is, because like, look under his eye, oh, you can see it goes lower. Okay, and there's like a little corner of it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it could be a little bit better defined. I think it looks really good. I mean, he doesn't need an eye patch that's that much bigger than his actual eye. That's true. Okay. Whoa. Person. Is this, uh, Ryan? I think so. Holy Ryan. crap! <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Are we cool? <laughs> um, We're yes. about to kill again. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I love you be the type not to freak out about something like that. Not that you shouldn't. It's reasonable to freak out after a near-death experience. <laughs> not that that was super near-death, but you know, closer than what you get walking through most doors. <laughs> It's okay. I'm fine. Good. I had a whole argument prepared about labs and the risks of working with machinery and the importance of forgiveness. Do you want me to hit all the bullet points? Mm. Uh, that's not necessary. <laughs> no, <Sure>? I'm... <laughs> Practiced? No, I, I get it. I'm Ryan. <laughs> well, you're just gonna leave her hanging. Oh my uh... God, Nancy, come on. Wow. What do you do at the lab? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I have to ask why you're here. Why are you here? <laughs> I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here to do due diligence for a potential new owner. I'm sorry. I'm an adult, and there's nothing funny about what you just said. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Back to the information. We're getting a new owner? Maybe. But first I need to ask some intrusive questions. Oh. <laughs> I know you've gotten enough of this. I really do. But 
It's my job. I've done worse things for my job. <laughs> like what? I build tools. Mm, They're not always <laughs> used in a good way. What do you mean by it's that? It's funny because I, I couldn't tell you about it if I wanted to. <laughs> Confidentiality. All of her murders are covered by HIPAA. I'll let you go. Bye. Okay, so is literally everyone at this lab going to be super socially inept? <laughs> <laughs> They're all scientist stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't try the drawers. They're so shiny. Yes, wow. I have no use for any of these, and yet I kind of want one. <laughs> You just got a shiny new set of tools. I did. Yay. It's for my new bicycle. Yay. Mm. Security office. Do not remove. And yet, I don't think. Katie, are we standing in the security office right uh, now? I, let's double check, double check to get a quick spin around the room. Maybe, maybe okay. not. Okay. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, I don't see any cam security camera panels or. Yeah, yeah. Or, or monitors anywhere. Okay, yeah, so possibly, despite where that remote is, we are not in the security office. Fascinating. <laughs> and yet it says right here, <laughs> plain as plain as the nose on your face. Hmm. 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 I must hmm. need to plug something in later. Nancy's never seen an electrical outlet before. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a C clamp. How about that? <laughs> they make clamps out of all sorts of letters these days. <laughs> oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Maybe we There's can ask her about the. Uh... Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah, why can't we ask her about the thing? <laughs> oh well. Uh, this is a shiny Is motorcycle. this your motorcycle? <laughs> it's my sweet ride! But it's not done yet. But I'm working on it. That's a lot of motorcycle. It's a very pretty motorcycle. <laughs> very pretty. Ah, baby, I want a motorcycle. Aww, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I only almost died on one once. Mm, we'll see. Woo, <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>, cubicles. <laughs> if it looks like I'm busy, that means I'm busy. Oh, goodness. Damn. What are you working oh, on? Oh, fuck you, too. <laughs> Get a postgrad in advanced math and electrical engineering, then I'll explain it to you. Oh, I have in one. Terms. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? There's this shiny magic that lives in the power lines, and it's dangerous and sly like a fox. Oh my god! And I'm, I'm using magic to trick you so hard. <laughs> without accidentally making everyone die. That sounds like you're working on the wireless transmission of electricity to me. If you want to put too fine a point on it, go ahead, stranger. <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. Who am I? Please let the answer be something that justifies me kicking you out of my workspace. I'm here on behalf of a new potential oh owner. God. Wrong. <laughs> no, that's Pencils correct. And... No, oh I mean God. wrong answer for me. It's going to be very Not funny later. I, <laughs> I do hear. remember that. <laughs> oh my God. I love that Bunch part. of fucking nerds. Um, How come we have so much to say to this guy? We I, can talk to yeah. a cool motorcycle chick. I'm gonna ask the, the <laughs> I'm going to throw as many personal questions at these like emotionally stunted <laughs> power nerds. Do you like Ryan? Let me save you some time. I don't like anyone. That can't be true. Observe and I'll demonstrate. I, I don't get it. Is, that a, is that a joke? <laughs> 
okay. still don't get it. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> oh, let's make him mad. <laughs> so special about Tesla. If you have to ask that, you haven't done your research. I mean, to you, what brought you here? The work. I turned down Los Alamos in a tenure track position to be here. Most people don't know this, but the majority of Tesla's work was confiscated by the FBI. Why? Could be he was designing weapons. Could be he had a breakthrough that threatened the energy magnates. Don't know. It's all been hidden. What matters is, there's a little bit still here. I always suspected Nico had some squirreled away, and I'd be able to find it. But either he didn't, or I couldn't. Okay, why are all the questions about Ryan? Well, Do you like, know I why Ryan would want to hurt Nico? Some, like, the police already asked the, the same sex. thing. Mm. Well, what did you tell them? It seem I like said a if good I were idea, to kill sure. Nico, it'd be because he stole my work. Whoa, hold on. It's just a for instance. Is it? <laughs> yes, that's because I think logically. I force myself to think from A to B to C and so on. Ryan is all over the place. For her, it's A to zucchini, to that thing from TV, to maybe C, then on to some non sequitur. I don't trust anyone I can't explain. I don't trust anyone whose brain does very normal brain things. <laughs> don't like it. <laughs> I don't like rude power nerds who use <laughs> neurodiversity as an excuse to be an asshole. Mm -hmm. Who do you see on an average day? Just me. Sometimes Ryan. You ask a lot of questions. Ever thought of being a scientist? Sometimes. Oh my God, is he, if he Good starts answer. flirting, the world needs more <laughs> people with scientists. questions and fewer people who are sure they have the answers. You said you were searching for Nico's work. Did you ever look in Nico's personal things? Of course I looked. <laughs> That whole body, like, I roll. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anyone roll their bodies while sitting in a chair before. Did you work directly with Nico? No one worked with Nico. We barely spoke to each other. That's the way he liked it. He practically lived in the lab. <laughs> if he wanted to look at my work, he'd just root around in my hard drive. So he'd come in here when you were gone? No, he'd use the network. He just snoop in your files? That seems kind of annoying. Not kind of. Entirely. It's unethical, and it allowed him to steal. You mentioned Nico stealing your work. Can you prove <laughs> you mean that? Like five seconds ago. No. <laughs> you must be pretty upset about that. Say what you really want to say. Did the police know your feelings about Nico? What a peculiar question. <laughs> Do you have a peculiar answer? I do, in fact, have a peculiar answer. I actually told the police the truth. A more interesting question is how is Ryan still a free woman? Why shouldn't she be? In this <clears throat> case, the smoking gun is a miswired Tesla coil that she built. Did you dislike Nico? Very much so. Would you go as far as to say you hated Nico? I would go that far and further. That guy was a jerk. That guy was that a jerk? seems a little disrespectful considering... <laughs> Does it? Am I supposed to pretend he's great now that he's dead? Lots of jerks have died and he's one of them. He's a dead, brilliant, jerk madman. The world would be much better off if he'd lived to share more of his intellect. But I selfishly am glad I'll never have to deal with him again. What do you remember about the day Nico died? More than I care to. I imagine. Did anything stick out? Yes, the police. It was weird. <coughs> One of us killed Nico, and here they were, talking about a basketball game, like it was any other day. I mean, for them, it was any other day. Still really bad etiquette. You said one of us. Why? Why not say someone? It's just an expression. It's not an expression I'm aware of. Don't be contrarian. It doesn't suit you. Yes. Yeah. So gross. 
It seems strange to me that you could be so blasé about a murder. I deal with things on my own time. But if you are desperate to watch someone cry, Ellie's always available. <laughs> wow, fuck you, dude. Jesus. Bye. See you later. Can I just, like, pelt him with a scrunched up roll of paper or something? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What is? Oh. He, like, doesn't want us going in there when she's not there or something. I guess. Um, that wasn't made clear, but okay. The level of voltage transfer is So there's some sort of part in the Tesla coil that's not specified in the most schematics that it needs to run. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be a puzzle. MCC will charge only when there is no other similar cap or color rating in the same row or column, so we're gonna have to probably uh, like arrange that. Alright. <laughs> Are we scanning or reading right now? Oh, I'm scanning. Yeah, okay. Faraday cages are so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, rad. Are we going to that? That's so cool. <laughs> mm. Oh, we get to take it. Awesome. Oh, sweet. Yay. <laughs> the coffee stain or the water <laughs> mark ring. That's, that's really cute. I like it. I like oh, this. Oh, you can too. even see it from here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a really nice detail. Yeah. Hmm. And I like the industrial thing. Yeah, yeah it's spruced the, up. The water cooler. Yeah. It's really nice. What are you doing? Okay, and oh yeah, fine. Why do you care if we go into her cubicle? In fact, didn't he suggest it? Yeah, well, he suggested talking to her, but if she's not there, that's a different thing, I guess. Mm. Alright, is there anything else? Mm -hmm. Whoa, what is this weird? I can't look at the weird Did robot man? Turn it turn around. Uh -huh. oh, that's as close as we can get, I think. Damn. I like him. I like him too. I like him a lot better than the, the robot from Siberia. <laughs> it's like, you uh, have to give this ticket that I gave you to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, he wasn't left in self isolation with that Lex for a very long time, so that might have. Like, no. Let people a little walk. I hit down. <laughs> it, it went down. And then it went up again. I, th oh, I, I, I think there's only one up and one down, so whenever you, you hit it, you're hitting it. A certain someone said that the murderer was in the basement. I was. I, I didn't know what I was talking about. Crazy. <laughs> 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 oh, let's see. Oh, damn. Can't look at the. Oh, we can! Ooh, sweet. Cool. Mm -hmm. There is number five, Boron, the one I did a, a little presentation on in grade school. Aww. <laughs> That's very cute. There. Fire safety. Some trivia night. Oh, Mad God. scientist or genius. <laughs> what is this? This is a very clean corkboard. Hello. Yeah. Our housemate is home. It's locked. I need a car to get in the lab. I need to get in there and wreck everything. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. That's that's his that's, office, that's right? Okay. We have not been here. 
Holy crap. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. I forgot to tell you, we've been having a lot of outages lately. Weird Funny you mention time. that. <laughs> I think you're having one right now. It's nothing to worry about. We've got backup on the big systems. Most of the time, Gray can get things back online in an hour. Occasionally, it takes a while, but rarely does it come close to the critical window. Critical window? Some of the equipment can get unruly when the power supply isn't consistent. Don't worry about it, though. Take the time to get settled. Catch up on sleep. All right. Gotta run. Oh, is this the game where we have, like, okay, living quarters? Okay, what's that? I think so. What's what? Ooh. That oh, come on! Oh, she's bumping into things. <laughs> oh, <Ow>, my toe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Wait, shouldn't I have a backup generator if their expensive and dangerous equipment like gets unwieldy when it doesn't have consistent electricity? <laughs> this was not what I yeah. expected when I set the alarm. Oh, stop! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> it's time for some light reading. <laughs> lovely reading music. Okay. I'd better see what that alarm is about first. <laughs> Are you trying to sleep through the alarm? <laughs> oh, I thought I thought it was literally the alarm, like the wake up alarm. That no. She <laughs> Whoa, there's a video game thing. <laughs> hold on, hold on now. Oh my god. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll play this later, I guess. <laughs> oh. You, come with me. Uh-oh. What's going on? No chit-chat. Come. Now. <laughs> oh my god. We need to get the system shut down before the grid goes critical. Get all those switches powered off. I'll do the rest. Oh, okay, alright. Could this have been used to keep the power on? I need to keep this together with any other evidence I find. Okay. Oh, we need to get all of them green. I think we need to get. I think I. I we need to get all of them off. Uh, oh, then do the corner one. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Nice work. Oh. Now get yeah. out. Who are you? What just happened? If the grid had gone critical, we'd all be dead right now. I'm Gray. I don't care who you are. <laughs> don't tell me. Get out. Get nerds. <laughs> Gary Gygax over there. Who's Gary Gygax? Uh, creator of Dungeons and Dragons, and oh. I'm not a nerd for knowing that. <laughs> yes, you are. It's locked. <laughs> Wait, I can't go back to my room? <laughs> what? Huh. Hmm. Wait, that's not Wait, the room. Wait, yeah, no, it? that's... That, that was it. That's the room. There. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's well lit. Oh, cool. Oh, we have a little kitchenette. I want to see what <laughs> aggregation it ag. No, it is aggregation. It is, okay, yeah. sorry, that trippy font was trippy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they made it so we're motivated to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do we do here? Mm, question mark. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, the object of aggregation is to clear the board by matching three or more pieces of the same color. To make a match, pieces must be adjacent either vertically or horizontally or both without being separated by a wall. Okay. You can send a piece cut from any of the four tracks surrounding the board if it will hit another piece already on the board or a wall in higher levels. Okay. Shield on corner. Huh. Uh, huh. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. 
It was interesting watching your choices. <laughs> is that a is that a sweet burn? What? Or is that a sick burn on my, my No, I don't think so. It's just like very different from the way I would play it. It's fun. I like it. This must be really fascinating to watch. I encourage anyone watching <laughs> to skip forward and then skip forward some more <laughs> <laughs> because I uh, am probably going to finish this game until it. Oh, let me do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a good job of keeping the board pretty clear. Thank you. Yay. Good job, baby. <clears throat> okay, I play more this time. Okay, you can keep playing if you want. Nah, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the hanging plants! Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, mm. well, that's really neat. Oh, wow, watering them would be a bit of a chore. I mean, I'm figuring. I need to find the power there... knob before I can use it. <laughs> Jack in the bowl. It's <laughs> like. Oh my god. Oh, that's horrifying. I don't like that picture. Yeah. Not the person, the little jacket in the fold. Hello, kids. You too can get your face on the <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Um, oh my goodness. Is a, a, I'm figuring the plants are either fake or they have some sort of like mister thing that suspends from the ceiling and like automatically mists them, is my headcanon. Oh my god, I love that 90s 
t-shirt. It's <laughs> wonderful. Dork food company. Fruity whole wheat faces. Oh, the cereals are little smiley faces. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, talk about the snack that smiles back. <laughs> um, is was there? Ah, uh, it's just like other people. Like whose cabin is whose? Wait, so does everyone live in the dormitory in here together? That's horrifying. Yeah. Unless this is just the guest quarters, but like I don't know. It seems kind of inhabited. Do not move. Move, 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 move. <laughs> Put this in there. Take some of these and put them around the sign. Make a little frame. <laughs> make a smiley face out of bulldog clips. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I wonder what we're going to need the Bunsen burner for, or the hot plate, or whatever that was. Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay. These are some very saucy pictures. Yeah, it's very, very sassy. <laughs> I saw that. Um, Wait, did you see the Kogo Kringle uh, wrapper pillowcases? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Those are excellent. Wait, tell me we're not sleeping below one of these fucking nerds. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm just, um, hmm, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Oh dear. <laughs> <clears throat> A little privacy, please? Oh, that's weird. Usually when she goes to use the bathroom, you just hear a toilet flushing sound. It's kind of, like, who did she say that to? Hmm. It's a little weird. Is she talking to the play? Did this game get meta? <laughs> I don't know. I hope not. Yeah, but I don't either. have another explanation. It's locked. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, what? It's a kitty cat. cat. Oh, it's Schrodinger's cat. It is. It's so cute and fluffy. Aww. I didn't know Schrodinger's cat was a long hair. Cat is alive. <laughs> alive. Is that Facebook? <laughs> huh. Weird. That's so weird. Wow. Oh, there's little, like, no, no, no. There's little these things. In oh, there. There I was see. There's the cogs with the letters in the middle. There was also it's a that sticker font like that. With on the, the circle and the blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I got you. Yeah. Um. There's a. Wow, this is a very nerd looking um, office. Let's say. Oh, there's some in the wastebaskets. Those right. totally won't be a thing. Far be it from me to disturb you from staring at your desktop <laughs> 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 on three separate monitors. Don't know you. Who let you in? But we've already met in the lab. Never mind. I'm Nancy. I'm here doing research for a new owner. Just what this place needs. You're not a fan of the idea? Nope. Why not? Not a fan of most ideas. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, makes sense. Was that sarcasm? Don't answer. I don't actually care. <laughs> Why were you so concerned about what Mason was up to? He was messing with tech he didn't understand. I had to make sure he didn't do anything stupid. What do you do here? Job description says security agent. Suppose it's more valid than not. How long have you worked here? Don't know. Can you estimate? Mm, nah. <laughs> You're really not going to tell me how long you've worked here. So it would see. <laughs> okay, I kind of like this guy a little bit. He plays it close to the vest. This is the guy that was anti <laughs> in the dossier at the beginning. <laughs> it's like in The Simpsons, like, there's a guy named Johnny Tight Lips or something, and he gets <laughs> shot, and they're like, Johnny, where were you shot? And he's like, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Ryan? Hater. Why? Oh my God. 
You're smart. Carry the sums. You'll get it. Uh. <laughs> what do you think of Mason? Don't like him. <laughs> Why not? I've got my reasons. <laughs> what are they? Secret. I mean, I no, agree with actually, you, but like... I hate him because he's up to something. What? I have no idea. <laughs> not for lack of trying. Uh. I'll let you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not really playing himself up as a very good security agent so far. No. Unless he means like his own personal information is secure. Oh, I like that heavy vault sound effect of the door closing. Yeah. It's locked. You're like, I just really want into the laboratory now, please. <laughs> Let's, let's cut the bullshit here. <laughs> okay, we're in here. Uh, Ellie might be in her cubicle now. Oh yeah. Gosh, the shadows of the elevator door bars. Yeah, they're pretty really pretty. Yeah. yeah. Can I help you? What brings you here? Oh, School? Actually, mm -hmm. I'm checking the lab out for a new potential owner. Oh yeah, Nancy, right? Yes. She talks Ellie. like she's in a cult. Victor wants to <laughs> the coil. I guess you could say you're lucky. Most people never get to see the inside <laughs> of the lab. And we're not exactly up to giving tours, considering. Ready? Oh, okay. Mm. Cool. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Uh, is this the coil that was supposed <laughs> to open Nico's death? I feel like I'm in a death yes. trap. I mean, you are, are but like, like an anti-death trap. It never should have been set up like that way in the first place. place. Why was it wired that way? There must have been a reason, right? Now, I need you to focus on what we are doing. It's very dangerous. What you're in right now is called a Faraday cage. Well, how does it work? Basically, it conducts the electricity away from whatever is inside it, keeping you safe. Here we go! Uh, <laughs> Oof, that noise though. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Back to the office. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the demo. Any chance you could let me look around in the lab sometime? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me what you do at the lab? In plain terms, I'm a research scientist. How long have you worked here? Some days, feels like decades. I don't actually know. Two years? Maybe a bit less. Do you share the office? In a way. Mason's station is over there. He's in during the day. Oh. Ooh, so we can go and mess with this stuff. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Why do you and Mason work opposite schedules? I'm a night Ellie. <laughs> Any other reason? And as a good Southern girl, I know if you don't have anything good to say, you keep it zipped like this. Who else was here the night Nico died? Gray. I think that's it. You said the coil should never have been wired the way it was the night Nico died. Why not? Wiring the secondary and primary coils together is a good way to get yourself killed. Or someone else. Are you sure it was Ryan? Yes. Why would she do that? She said Nico insisted. Mm -hmm. Does that sound like something Nico would do? I never understood him. But if he was even a fraction as smart as his work leads me to believe, why would he do something so dangerous? Is there a way into the lab without a key card? No. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> I'm not great at remembering to bring my card, no. and Gray does not like letting me in. Did you know Nico well? No, but it wasn't for lack of trying. So you weren't friends? I don't know if he had friends. He wasn't well liked? No. It's not like that. 
I just don't think he needed people. Or if he did, then he hid it well. He was too much of a scientist. What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> you said Nico was too much of a scientist. What did you mean by that? I'm organized in the way I think, but I... Okay, take Mason, for example. He lives his life the way I work. How so? In all of the ways. When he makes a sandwich, he alphabetizes the ingredients. He's not human. Not that he's... <laughs> it's hard to explain. Like if a computer had legs and a sweater, it'd be Mason. What it comes down to is... Computers I'm aren't absolute Mason jerks. Made well, actually, Nico that's not was 100% <laughs> a scientist. <laughs> Depends on the computer. Did Nico have a hard time with people? Not a hard time, not exactly. It was like he was plugged into a different current than the rest of us. People were to be studied and observed, but that was all he wanted. At least I hope that's how it was. Was Nico close to anyone in the office? Did he talk to anyone? Don't think so, really. <laughs> it's a weird note to end on, <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, Nancy's so bad at conversational etiquette. Right. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mason's not very forgiving. Uh, I guess we have to wait till one. You of don't like, want to oh. be messing with his stuff. Or what? He Sorry. weighs like eighty I was pounds. Just a <laughs> curious. You know, he's not here. Make you a deal. He's been lording his high score aggregation over me. Take him down. There it is. Uh, and I'll let you poke around. Hey, you get to play the game to your heart's content. <laughs> I better get going. <laughs> Goodbye, Nancy. I'm starting to run down, babe. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, first video. Yeah. All okay. right, what do oh, I... oh, what do you think of the game so far? Oh, um, okay. So, I'm, I, I'm, I, I feel a lot more like amped up <laughs> um i did not mean to do that uh i feel a lot more like amped up about the 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 whole thing like the stakes are much higher than in most of the games that we've yeah, played yeah yeah most of them don't involve just a murder yeah a lot of the time it's like wow a horse that glows in the dark showed up one night holy shit nancy's on the case but this one's like no dude got fucking fried <laughs> like, um i like uh, some of the characters that were like unlikable in other games i didn't enjoy as characters and these but these ones like it's such a <laughs> weird little menagerie of assholes <laughs> <but> like, <laughs> I don't know it's it, it's it's uh I, I I do quite like it so far yay I'm so glad I forgot how pretty all the office decoration and everything is yeah it's a fascinating environment yeah I'm yeah. hoping that there's more to it than just the lab like I hope that mm. we can go more places than like this handful of rooms I I I don't remember. <laughs> I think the lab is fairly big, though. Okay, okay. Like, I felt like I remember feeling pretty claustrophobic on last moon to last last train to Blue Moon Canyon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then like once we got to the little like old west town, it was like yeah, really nice to I don't know virtually stretch our legs. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping that there's a I don't know that we might be able to see sky or like leave the building in some capacity. Oh, I don't know if that happens. Ah, capacity is another. <laughs> oh my god, I love oh my, you. I love you too. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't I don't think we get I think this is a more closed environment this one. I don't sure. think we get to go outside. Um, well. But yeah, so I, No, I, I quite like it. Yay, I'm so glad. Yeah, I um I didn't have as much of a positive association with this one because like I played it like I used to so what I would do when I got these games is I would play Get them, out of there. I would play them once on Amateur Detective and then play them once on um Master Detective. Uh and I think I did this like I was sort of I remember feeling sort of stressed out. I was in college, I think it was around like finals or something. Like just before it or something. Mm -hmm. I was trying to play these. Um so uh I'd like yeah, and I didn't really go back to it, but it's it's really nice so far. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, do any of the characters, like, individually have any association with you? Do you, do you do, did... I remember really liking Ryan. Okay, definitely. okay. I definitely remember that. It's kind of funny seeing, like, some of the different nerd archetypes yeah. represented here. Like, yeah. there's definitely the, like, comic book guy <laughs> nerd with the gray ponytail yeah. and the big belly and, the, and then, yeah, the, uh... The scatterbrain super, nerd. The scatterbrain nerd, the super neurotic, mm -hmm. um, like, alphabetize your oatmeal <laughs> by, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> How would you categorize Ellie? Does she fit into a nerd archetype? Um, I don't know. She, like I said, she seems kind of like like a cult member. <laughs> she seems kind of detached from everything. Hmm. A little bit scary, honestly. Oh, that's an interesting. The way she was talking in the when you were in the Faraday cage was yeah kind of creepy. Yeah, that was pretty creepy. I mean, that whole situation was pretty creepy because like her life was literally in her hands. Yeah. In that moment, and like we didn't like, especially since there was a little bit of a like a helplessness feeling because we didn't know that talking to her was going to trigger the cutscene. Mm, yeah, that's true. <sighs> I am sure I will have more to say. Okay. Whether anyone <laughs> likes it or not. Everyone will. Um, uh, all right. See y'all in the next video. Yeah, thanks for playing Nancy Drew with us. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. uh. This for D is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just remove, remove one of the R's or one of the spaces. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. No, okay. <laughs> 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 Just, <yeah. laughs> okay, awesome.